Hi there, I'm Megan Hepner, creative editor with Creating Keepsakes magazine. I don't know a scrapbooker who does not love her flowers. We buy them by the bulk and we just use them on project after project. At least this is how I am. And if you can relate to this, I have three fantastic storage ideas for you that um, for using your flowers as decor, but also storing them in a functional way. So let's get started. Um, the first idea is actually inspired by home decor. Right now, garlands are very big in the home and this is one example. It's just some paper flowers that are strung together that you can then hang up in your house as decoration. And I love how bright and colorful this is and I thought it would be a wonderful way to store your flowers before you put them on your projects. So to kind of create something similar, all you need to do is grab your floral stash. It's probably best with this idea to use your fabric flowers instead of those paper ones because we are going to be pinning them and the pins can create little holes in the flowers. So if you're using your paper ones, that would be pretty obvious and noticeable and you probably wouldn't want that showing up on your layout down the road. Whereas the fabric ones are a little more forgiving that way. Um, so what you want to do is just grab some twine. I often opt for baker's twine just because it's a little bit more decorative and cute and I always go for the cute option when I can. Um, but any rope, again, or floss will work just fine. And what you'll do is just grab a larger safety pin um, because my flowers in this case are a little bit larger, so a larger one works better. If you have teeny flowers, the smaller ones will be okay. And using the round end of the pin, go ahead and take the end of your, your rope or twine and thread it through there. And with your pin, this is going to start the um, garland because the twine will act as the garland base. And with your pin on there, go ahead and undo it and take your f uh, fabric flower You'll want to kind of note where you pierce the hole through here. Since this is a really pretty layered flower, I'm going to make sure that I pierce the hole so it's underneath a layer above it. So that way when I take it off the pin later, it won't be noticeable because it'll be beneath that layer. And then you'll go ahead and just close the pin and hang this. What you can do as much as you have flowers for and you'll have something that looks a lot like this. Isn't that pretty? And you can go ahead and hang that up on your wall and your flowers are ready for you to pick off and play with whenever you are ready to use them. So that's one wall approach for your storage. I have another one that's great for the wall. I kind of prefer those when I'm storing my supplies simply because that leaves me more room on my work surface to create and not store items. So this is a magnetic chalkboard. It's kind of a two for one storage idea because a, it's magnetic so you can clip on little notes, but the chalkboard aspect is nice to write reminders to yourself. And the flowers kind of spice it up and make it decorative. These are actually just scrapbooking flowers from my stash, but by using these little magnets, they're pretty strong, uh, you can go ahead and put your flowers where you want them on the board, and the magnet will hold it right in place. So if you kind of are intentional about the placement of the flowers on the magnetic board the way these are, you'll see they're kind of framing the corner there. It looks lovely on your wall, it looks like it came designed that way, but then when you need a flower, simply take it off and put it on your project. So I love that. A little bonus idea on this one is you can also glue mag uh, magnets to the bottoms of your flowers the way we've done with this one, and it will act as magnets to keep on your board at all times when you're hanging up your notes like this. So this is a very affordable and fast idea. Uh, the next one's a little bit more fashionable, which is a lot of fun. This is actually a necklace holder, a necklace tee. So you can see the before and the after here. This just is available at your local accessory shop at the mall and you um, can use it to hang your necklaces or in this case your floral trims. I love the rosette trims and can't help but buy lots of them so it's a wonderful way to put a whole color assortment right there in front of you. It's very easy to do. All you need with your tee is a length of trim. You can also do this with any sort of ribbon. They certainly don't have to be floral. But that's our theme today. Go ahead and put it there, kind of wrapped around the T. Move this aside to start it. And then with that in place, go ahead and just wrap the trim around itself a couple of times. You can leave it the way my T here is and have some excess hanging off. Or you can wrap it really short like this, just depending on what you prefer. I like to leave it a little bit uh, looser like this. And that way I have something to measure with. So I can pull it right up to my page get the amount I need and trim off that amount. But again, it's, the choice is yours. And once you have it wrapped to the length that you want it, go ahead and take some kind of attachment. Keeping with our theme, we have little hair clips, also from the accessory shop, that are very fun and you can put them right there. First, I'm gonna make sure my trim's all the way to the end. 
and then I have room for more that way. Maximize my space. And then you just clip it down like that and it holds it in place and we'll unclip and reclip as you need it. Another um, option for clips if you don't want to use the hair clips, you can certainly, keeping with the, the clothing idea and the fa fashion idea, use clothes pins. These are pretty bitty and they will work for this, but you can also just use regular sized ones. Certainly won't impact the look too much. Like that, or if you want to make it a little bit more bling bling, go ahead and get some pretty pins, like hat pins like this that are all over the scrapbook stores right now, and pin them in place. It's a super um, versatile idea and you'll have your trims right there handy whenever you need to play with them. I did say we had three ideas, but actually there's a fourth. It's kind of a bonus idea for you and it's for your on the go crafting. And I know so many of us do that. This is a tote by Mimi and it sure is classy looking just as is, but it's um, great for in your room or when you're out with your friends cropping because if you leave it at home and store your flowers in it, just hang one of the ends of the tote up on the hook in your wall, on your wall or on your door and you've got your flowers right there. Or you can wrap it up and close it the way it was before and hit the road. Um, one great aspect about this tote and all the flowers it holds is if you don't want to take your entire flower stash, maybe you just want the felt flowers for this particular trip, these are Velcro. So you can just take them off, throw the one guy in your, your uh, tote and go have some fun. I know how we are with flowers and these are great ideas to keep those flowers we love right there where we can see them but also use them whenever the mood strikes. So I hope you enjoy them and we'll give these a try.